Hi, this is Mike, Tiny Tour of Vlog 7. I think I got the number right this time. Uh, just giving you some uh, updates, mainly June. With two vehicles, I think I did pretty good. Uh, before uh, any deductions, uh, they both earned 560. Although actually it should have been 600, maybe 50, since the, the other car was still on rental at the end of the month. So the actual payment um, will be for, um, well actually was placed in July. So the Kia Soul was actually rented about three out of four weeks. And the Cyan XB is about half of the, well, two weeks. So I guess I need to keep trying things. Um, one thing I tried at least for us, the Cyan XB, since it's not as popular as the Kia Soul, was to set uh, a daily rate, or at least just a one day of 20, and it seemed to work. I think I got a few uh, rentals that way. The other thing also is a uh, repeat business. Uh, a couple of them actually, uh, two of them actually from someone leaving something in the car and we just end up chatting. And I just gave them a heads up that, hey, uh, I dropped my price in case you were renting again. And uh, sure enough, um, I, uh, they did book again and I ended up getting uh, at least two rentals for last month. Now, one thing um, I also start doing is the snooze um, mode for your cars. If you're using it for personal use, which I did for the Kia Soul, I did it for a few days. I just put it on snooze, so that way if you're taking it somewhere or getting it um, repair or serviced, you, you don't want to have accidental bookings and you cannot deliver the car. So I've been using that a lot. In fact, I have that on the Kia Soul. Had a flat tire I have to take care of uh, later. Uh, after I get this Cyan XB uh, cleaned and ready for uh, the next renter. Uh, the other thing I'd, I'd, I'd like to again uh, recommend, this is actually, sh I should have done already and I learned the hard way. I had a dent in my uh, Kia Soul. I think it's from a repeat renter. I did not see it honestly simply because it was returned late as, a, as we agreed on. And um, it's a silver car. I guess with the lighting, I did not notice until about maybe two days later. It was right before the 4th of July, so I was really busy. I wasn't really able to check the car until a few days later. So it's too late. Turo, you can only claim up to 24 hours um, upon return, I think. And I might just get an FYI for the, the possible renter to see if they admit to it or maybe just kind of inform them. Um, that's basically it. Let me just check my cheat sheet here. So yes, I, I do recommend, you know, from my experience and to share with you guys again, um, be sure to document both uh, check in and check out. Meaning, take a lot of pictures. Um, I, I know some guys on the, the tour group uh, online does maybe up to 50 or 60 pictures. That seems too much, but it's good to document, especially if you have a newer or nicer car. Um, that way, it's easy to uh, prove to tour that you may have a new damage, you know, after the return. I do take good pictures, you know, maybe about 16 to 20, just to cover everything. Um, both my cars are used, and they have a lot of scratches. So I'm not really too worried. Um, one thing you can also just touch up on all the scratches, so that way it's easy to determine a new scratch if you do have them. And if you have to claim them, you can say, you know, everything is touched up. And, um, of course, a new scratch will look completely different um, if it's not touched up. So there you go. Uh, that's my update. Uh, July starts slow because I'm also busy. I have um, unavailable dates that I put in for the first week of July. So this is the first day one of them is available. So hopefully uh, it's, it picks up soon. And, uh, again, I'll just up, update you again on the next month. Thank you again. This is Mike, Tiny Tour Vlog uh, 7.